Shalom Chavrim. I'm Stephen Bindanoon, and I wanted to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with you guys to let you guys know what's going on here at the Noon Institute of Biblical Research. Uh, we're also running Israeli News Live, and we're trying to take this ministry to a new level full-time in the ministry to be able to get news to you as well as the things that God reveals to my heart so that you can have a greater perspective of what's going on in the world. Uh, Recently, though, we've come under attack in a numerous, num numerous ways here, um, and it's been, been going on for quite some time. The first, uh, the first attack uh, that came was our website, our internet here at the house. The website was totally knocked offline on an independent server separate from us here. It was totally wiped out. Uh, then our internet service, the cable, the same day was cut so we could not have internet. Right after that, then whoever is behind all of this decides to spam everyone in our Israel Returns email that I'm stranded in India and need desperate help, please send money. Of course, they wipe out the entire uh, list that's in there so people have, so I have no way to be able to contact those people and let them know that this is all falsified. I don't even think it's really about sending money in a particular place. I think it's just actually orchestrated. The Vatican, no doubt, behind it. Maybe the, the NSA is behind it, uh, the U.S. government, because the things that we speak to you about are things that they do not want you to know about. That's just where it, where it really comes down to. And secondly, the ministry is so large, there's no way for me to control this ministry on my own. I actually have a staff of people that work with us. My wife being chief and foremost in this ministry, in fact, she'd be better off behind the camera for the things that God reveals to her as well. But she also is very strong in the background, researching and helping me sort through emails, as well as Brother Aaron. Aaron uh, handles the website and does noteworthy news uh, to keep you guys up to date with the information that is going on there. And then we have Sister Lisa Tesh, who works with us on our Facebook and uh, gets important information to me that I need to be aware of and helps us in a number of other ways as well. I have seen also, besides the attacks that we've had from the government and people that are doing that, I've seen people as well, people that we have loved and people that we still love, that have attacked, in this case here, both my wife as well as Sister Lisa Tesh. Uh, she has been attacked as well. And both of them, it was totally uncalled for. And we dealt with both situations the best way we knew how, and we dealt with that privately. It's not something that we will mention here. But the point is, is our love is for you, and including the staff that works with me. We love you guys dearly. And if we do something that offends you, come to us as a brother and a sister. Tell us your, your concerns with love if there is something like that. We don't mind listening and we don't mind correcting if we've done something wrong. But sometimes there's issues that we need to know about and that in my staff working with me will reach out to find out information so that we can help other people as well. None of our, none of our uh, things that we're trying to accomplish, accomplish are clandestine. Our job and our desire is to help the body of Christ to move forward. And even in the case where we've had people that have done things that were very offensive, our love is still for them. And we ask that God be merciful and will help them to understand the way we feel as well. And certainly, we ask no ill on anyone, but that God's mercy would be to them as well, and that they know that we forgive them too. In some cases, things get really bad, and we have to ban a person altogether. And that happened in the case with Sister Lisa Tesh. The attack came so hard against her that we had to ban the person completely from our channel, from the Facebook page, etc., because the propaganda and the lies that were spread publicly. And that's another big issue, especially in the case of my wife, because in the case of my wife, you know, if there's something that you feel, come to me about it. Because just like with Abraham and Sarah, if anything were to happen to Sarah, it happened to Abraham as well, because God had called both of them together. And it's the same way it is with, with us here. We're called together in the ministry. And so my wife, it's, 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 it's really, it really comes against me as well. 
And I also feel the same love for Brother Aaron and Sister Lisa and their work and their love for us here in the ministry, their tireless efforts that they do. And so we love you guys. And I want you to know that what we're trying to do here is to help people along. And another thing I wanted to mention to you as well on this same matter, and I know that many of you have come to me because your love and concern for us uh, in regards to some of, the, some of the programs that I have been a guest on. And you've warned me, you know, saying that certain things are going on and you should be aware of this, Brother Steve. I do thank you for making me aware of things that are going on. I do appreciate that, and I don't want to belittle that. That is important, because sometimes I go on a program and I totally am unaware. Uh, I went on a program some time back, and several brothers that I'm very close to, they warned me there as well that there were issues that I was unaware of. And also, in another case recently, the program that I was on, I was being warned that the, the person in this pro program has two sides. He'll agree with you, but then preach is totally opposite of what you believe. But keep in mind, while there's still daylight, there's time to work. And my desire is to see those people as well saved and come out of whatever they're in. Regardless of what you do in life, no matter how far you stoop and sin, God is still able to bring you out. And also the people that follow these people. If I'm invited, I realize there comes a time that I must separate when it gets totally out of control. That is true. But as long as I can speak my heart and I can tell the people what's true, even their people will hear and maybe do something about it. But in some cases, when I'm made aware of those issues going on in the background of a ministry that I may go be a part, uh, as far as go be a part of their interview, it's good to know, because in cases like that, I like to personally contact that individual and talk to them privately to try to reconcile them, to try to get them to realize that the, that the, the direction they're going in is not of God. And that's one of my main issues that I do. We see that Yeshua was the same way. When Jesus of Nazareth was on the earth, they were always telling him, do you not realize who you're associating yourself with? In fact, the Pharisees would get on to him because he associated with the poor and the down and out. And then his own disciples would be wondering, why in the world is he going to, to the Pharisees and stuff? And like uh, Simon, the, the rich ruler. Always remember one thing. Like in the case of Simon especially, this is the case that we're more like. It's also if Simon refuses to heed the call and judgment is brought upon him. So when we do visit these places, my purpose and my intention is to get those people to believe and to try to get them to recognize the error in what they're doing by speaking the truth to start with. And also, when it comes to the people that work with us here in the ministry, always remember, this is the dearest to my heart, my wife first and foremost, and also Brother Aaron and Sister Lisa, who mean the world to me. So anything that were to happen to them, if you have an issue, take it up with me. Because when you're saying something to them and hurting them, you're hurting me as well. I love you guys tremendously. And I think you'll understand what I mean by this. Not everybody is part of that. I don't mean that there. But I, I, I felt like that I needed to bring this also publicly. And nothing in shame to, to the persons that have been involved in these attacks on uh, my wife and sister Lisa, but to let you know that they are a part of this ministry just as much. And without them, it would be nearly impossible for me to do it. In fact, I might be able to do a little tiny thing making YouTube videos, but I wouldn't be able to stay in contact with you guys, which I know is such a vital part. That, you're, that we're in contact together so I can hear your voice and hear the things that are on your heart as well. So I just wanted to let you guys know that follow us here. This is, we're, we're, we're just a little family here trying to put the word of God out to you guys. Shalom and Erev Tov.